I know you left uh, PwC about over four years ago. Can you share with me a little bit about what you've been up to since? Yeah. So I left PwC back in November of 2017. At the time, I was in the advisory practice here in New York City. And when I left PwC, I joined Neuberger Berman in their private markets practice to focus on operational due diligence. Crystal, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your what, what you do every day at, at Neuberger Berman. I've had a bit of a career journey at Neuberger Berman. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my career journey at PwC first, because I think it plays into everything I've done and, and do today at Neuberger. Great. So I was an intern back in the summer of 2008, PwC Boston in audit, and I got staffed on uh, alternative asset management clients. And so I spent four years after I graduated from Boston College doing audits of private equity, hedge fund managers, and fund of funds up there. And you know, after that, realized I wanted to try something new. So I started having conversations with different people and different partners and ultimately landed a role in the advisory practice Ooh. and did that for a few years. Got a little tired of being on the road every Monday through Thursday and living in and out of hotels. Decided to look for an opportunity um, somewhere else. And, and it was probably one of the biggest decisions of my life that, that I made career-wise. I knew I wanted to continue to learn about different companies and the people that work there and the things they did and how they can make it better. And so that's what sparked my interest in operational due diligence roles. And so I joined Newberger Berman's operational due diligence team. My boss um, at Newberger, you know, we started to have conversations about how can we internally at our firm figure out how we can streamline our own processes and implement new technologies to just continue to make our business better as we grow. And so I slowly transitioned from having operational due diligence be my day job to this role of essentially internal advisory for the private markets practice at Newberger. You were talking about uh, you reached a, a sort of a point where you were evaluating outside opportunities from PwC. Yeah. And I'm curious, sort of from a coaching or mentoring perspective, who did you consult with? There were a team of partners that I worked with up in the Boston office who I still connect with every so often, and they were my they were my champions. And so they wanted me to be successful, and they knew that I had certain goals in mind. I explained I loved helping clients, and that was, you know, an audit. There's, there's only so much you can do for your clients from an audit perspective, so I wanted to see what else was out there. I was able to connect with a bunch of the partners I was working with, um, and they... You know, introduced me to different people at the firm. Ultimately, had had some conversations with people who were in the people and change. Now, the people and organization practice. I ended up taking an offer in that advisory group there, based on the conversations I was having with the partners I worked for in Boston and the conversations I was having with the new folks I was introduced to. I think you know people are our biggest asset, and I think that having the approach of what's the, what's in the best interest of our people. If it's a PwC, great, but if it's elsewhere, then we should be encouraging that and supporting that. I guess just, can we maybe go back a little bit and think about your experience at PwC and some of the lessons learned and the experience gained and how that's translating now into your success at Newberger Berman? Yeah, I think one thing that I learned in my time at PwC was the importance of real-time feedback. I remember a director I worked for when I was in advisory, we were running a meeting one day and after the meeting was over, he called me and he was like, you did great, but here's how I would do it better next time. And I remember it was one of the first times someone had said, here's how I would change this and, and gave it to me like right after the meeting. And it's funny because that was a really, I think, a big, a pivotal moment in my career, and it's something that has stayed with me to this day. It's made me a better employee, and I feel like it's helped me build deeper relationships with the people I'm working with. And what are some uh, interesting memories that you have of, of PwC? There's definitely a lot of fun ones, but probably... My all-time favorite was one of my audit teams back in Boston. We spent many, many a late night together in an audit room. Um, it was a team of all females, um, and we were all Taylor Swift fans. So once it hit a certain time of night and the client went home, 
T all Swift. Bets, all bets were off <laughs> and Taylor Swift was playing and we would like be dancing while we were tying out financial statements. Um, and we started a tradition of going to Taylor Swift concerts together. Excellent. Was, you like her new album? I do. Pretty good. I do. It's pretty good. Yeah, I, I like do. it Still too. Still a fellow Swifty. <laughs> uh, fellow Swifty. Crystal, thank you so much. It's been a great pleasure to do this with you. Thanks. Thanks.